Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful life. Today's topic is the B plus tree. We'll cover these chapters today. What is B plus tree? Insertion in B plus tree. Deletion from B plus tree. Let's dive into what B plus tree is. Hey there. Let's kick things off by asking, what is a B plus tree? Well, a B plus tree is a type of self-balancing tree data structure that keeps data sorted. Sounds a bit complex, right? Let's simplify it with an example. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words. So here's a very simple example of a B plus tree. To get the hang of it, there are two key points you need to know. First up is the border of the tree. Think of the order as the maximum number of children an internal node can have. Heads up if you're a CS student, some professors might call this degree or border, but they're talking about the same thing. For our discussion, we'll stick with order. In this B plus tree example, the order is four, meaning it can have up to four children and three keys, since the number of keys is always one less than the number of children. Now on to the second crucial point. Each node must have at least half of the order's number of children. With an order of 4, the minimum number of children is 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2. This tree meets that requirement as you can see here with the first and second child. And remember, the minimum number of keys is always 1 less than the number of children, so for this tree, it's 1. I hope this clears up the basics and helps you understand the key points of AB plus tree. Let's move on to insertion. We'll use the same tree for better understanding. First, we insert 20. We start from the root node and find the right place for it. Since 20 is bigger than 12, we move down to the right node of 12. This node has empty space for 20, so we smoothly add it there. Next, we insert 30. We repeat the same process, but this time the node is full. What do we do then? We create a new node. How? Well, we have the keys 14, 18, 20, and 30, and we split them in the middle. 14, 18 in one node, and 20, 30 in the new node. This new node will contain 20 and 30. Here's the important part. You need to add 20 to the root node because now it links three children, and the number of keys is one less than the number of children. So, why 20? Because it's the lowest key in the new node and it fits perfectly between 18 and 30. Now, let's insert 10. We start at the root and find the right spot for 10, right here. Next, let's add 6. The node is full again, do you remember what we did before? That's right, we split it in the middle. 3, 6, 9, and 10, and add them to a new node. Don't forget to add the right key to the root, which is 9 this time and that was insertion. I hope this makes sense and helps you understand how we handle new entries in AB plus tree. Let's tackle deletion now. We'll use the same tree as we did for the insertion example. First up, we delete 20 from the tree. So, we simply remove 20 like this. But here's where it gets crucial. Don't just move 30 to space and bump 30 up to the root. Instead, we need to merge the two nodes affected by the deletion. Now, the tree looks like this after we delete 20. And that was deletion. I hope everything made sense. If you have any questions, just ask me on TikTok. I'll make a short video to answer your question. Thank you.